The absolute value of 8 is 8. The absolute value of negative 9 is 9. The absolute value of negative 3 halves is 3 halves. Essentially, absolute value represents the size of a number without regard to its sign. Looking at our examples, you might be fooled into thinking that absolute values means throw away the negatives. That's certainly not the case. Try these problems. First, find the absolute value of 8 minus 6. Second, find the absolute value of 4 minus 1 plus 6 minus 9. Be careful. Simplify each problem until you have just one number inside the absolute value symbol. Then find the absolute value. Press the pause button if you need more time to get your answers. To find the absolute value of 8 minus 6, first subtract to get 2 inside the absolute value symbol. And the absolute value of 2 is 2. For the second problem, simplify one step at a time. 4 minus 1 is 3. Then 3 plus 6 is 9. And finally, 9 minus 9 is 0. The absolute value of 0 is 0. We've completed our introduction to the number line and its signed numbers, the positive and negative numbers. We'll soon begin the next part of our lesson, addition of signed numbers. Before we get started, why not relax for a while and watch as two hard-working tollway employees go through their day, coping with real life and with signed numbers. I thought this job was supposed to be easy, just shuttling back and forth on the tollway making pickups and deliveries. But there are so many rules and regulations, I'll never figure out what I'm supposed to do. All right, I guess I'd better begin at the beginning. Step one, copy your assignments from the assignment board. I did that. Hey, are you the new guy? I mean the new shuttler, Catherine Christine? Yeah, but call me Casey, all right? Okay, Casey. So, you ready to hit the road? No. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do, and this book is so confusing. Can you help me out? Sure, no problem. Don't worry about the book. Our job is easy. You just go where they tell you to go and do what they tell you to do. First, you take Jack to 5E, then you bring some more toll tickets over to 18E, and then you shuttle on over to 50W. Wait a minute, you've lost me already. Now, who's Jack and what's 5E? <laughs> I can't believe it. Didn't they tell you anything about this job? Look, Jack is the boss's son. He works in a tow booth at 5E, which is an exit off the tollway five miles east of here. Now, every day somebody has to take Jack over there, and today it's your turn. So, do I come back here after I drop him off? No, you just go right on down the list. Now, can we get out of here? They don't pay us for hanging around the office. All right, but it still doesn't make any sense. What doesn't make any sense? Well, they've got us both taking Jack to exit 5 for our first stop. That can't be right. <laughs> pay attention, will you? You're taking Jack, I'm taking Jackie. Jackie's the boss's daughter, and they're not going to the same place. You're taking Jack to 5E, and I'm taking Jackie to 5W. Now, one is five miles east of here, and the other one's five miles west. Here, it's right on the map. You did notice the map when you came in, right? Well, yeah, I looked at it when I came in. At first, I thought it was a number line, the way it has arrows on both ends and numbers on both sides. A number line? Oh, <laughs> you're weird. What do you think this is, a, a math class? This is the east-west tollway. Now, it goes from east to west and west to east, right through the state. Now, it goes further than you can see here, and that's why they're the arrows. But they never send us past 50E or 50W. Okay, we're right here in the middle of the state. Now, if you get off on the exits on the east, you can get off at 5E or 18E or 30E or wherever. So do all the exit numbers tell you the number of miles from here? Yes. Just don't get confused between the east exits or the west exits, because they're in completely different places. Like, the exits on the west, they're on the left here, like 5W, which is five miles west of here. Just like 5E, except it's in the opposite direction. No wonder the map looks like a number line. It's just like a number line, except on a number line, you have positives on the right and negatives on the left. Here, it's E's and W's, and then you have our home right in the middle. Now, that's where zero would be on a number line. And then those exits with the same number, but they're in different directions, those are just like numbers that are opposites, but they have the same absolute value because of the same distance. Thank you for that valuable piece of information. But we are making absolutely no money standing around here. Now, can we go? Uh, don't forget your assignment list and uh, set your car trip meter to zero when you start. Why do I have to do that? Well, we get paid by the number of miles that we drive. But you do know that, right? Here, here's how they do it. When you get to your first stop, they write, the toll taker writes your mileage down on a card. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then you do whatever you have to do, 
collect toll tickets and collect the cash. And then you set the car trip meter to zero and go on to your next stop. By the end of the day, you get a pile of cards like this. <laughs> oh, did you get all those today? No, I haven't gotten any word today. I'm busy talking to you. These are from yesterday. Can I see them? I'm still not sure I understand. So what's to understand? I got this one when I got to 5E, and this one when I got to 30E, and... Wait a minute. I think they made a mistake. See, this card from 5E says 5, but this card from 30E doesn't say 30. It says 25. Oh, come on. The, the big number is the distance. How much farther is it from 5E to 30E? Okay. That's 25 miles. I've got it. All right. So all the big numbers are positive, right? Well, of course they are. They're distances. You get them right off the trip meter. <laughs> Have you ever seen a negative number on a trip meter? No, of course not. You're right. Distances are always positive. Yeah. Can I ask you just one more question? Now what? Well, why are some cards yellow and some cards blue? Like, here's a yellow 35 you got at exit 5W, and here's a blue 35 you got later at the same place. Uh, don't worry about it. It's just a system they use that has, makes absolutely no difference. Look, blue 35 or yellow 35, I still get credit for driving 35 miles, which is about all I'm going to do today if you keep asking me questions. I'm sorry, but I really want to understand. Can't you just explain to me what the system is? <sighs> all right. Whenever you go east on a tollway, everything is yellow. Toll tickets, receipts, mileage cards. Now, when you go across the road to the west side, everything is blue. I got this one when I went east, this one when I went west. But yellow or blue, it makes no difference. They both have absolutely the same value. And yellow and blue makes green, as in go, as in money, which is what we should be doing, going and getting some money. All right. But are you sure there's nothing else that I need to know? Look, I'm going to give you some final words of advice. Don't speed, don't weave in and out. If you get a speeding ticket, you're fired. And whatever you do, don't get off the tollway, because the guy that had the job before you got off the tollway and some bad traffic went to the local streets. Now, I don't know how they do it, but somehow they always figure it out if you get off. <laughs> now, go on, get out of here. Go collect some of your own cards. All right. Thanks, Tony. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. <sighs> She'll never last. By this time next week, I'll be explaining all this to a replacement.